are guys so welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to bring up the why people don't break in a tech and why people actually fail so if you guys don't know i brought this little list here because as you guys know i don't know if you guys notice i have unscripted videos but i needed to have some notes for this one because i wanted to get into these are very important topics and i and i had to really think about this one so let's let's just get into this so um, the first one is they don't really want it. So if you guys want to break into tech, you actually have to want it. So what does that mean? What does that really mean? So do you guys actually like the tech or you like the money? You have to, you have to decide on that. You can like the money. Awesome. It pays well. Um, but if you, if you really like the tech, you're going to go far. So a lot of times people, they say, Hey, they like the idea of getting into tech, right? It's fancy. You can work remote. You can make six figures. You can, you know, you're doing interesting things, but are you going to put in the work? It's, it's, if you want a certain lifestyle and a certain dream that you want to get to, it's going to require work no matter what, no matter what, nothing easy or nothing hard comes easy, right? So you're going to have to realize that it's going to be hard. There's a lot of competition. A lot of people want what exactly what you want. So are you going to put in the work? If you're not going to put in the work, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not worth it for you. This is not the, this is not for the week, right? So this is going to require a lot of work. And if you're not willing to put in the work, please don't even waste your time getting to tech. In my honest opinion, it requires lots of studying, lots of practice, lots of patience, um, lots of mentorship, lots of guidance, and lots of support, um, and never giving up and just keep going and keep learning, um, improving your social skills, improving your marketability, um, getting some certs um, and all that stuff. So there's a lot that goes in. And it requires a lot of effort. If you're not going, if you're not willing to put in the work, please don't waste your time. I'm, and I'm, I'm begging you, pick another degree, pick nursing, right? Where you can go, just you know, do your four year degree and then get a job right after, because you have to really want it to get into this field. Like you have to really want it. So if you don't want it, please, it's not worth it. So I put that number one because it's extremely important. A lot of people forget about it. They think it's easy. They think they, this is a field that oh, it's you know I can easily get in because. A lot of people on TikTok, a lot of people on Instagram all over, they say, oh, you know, the influencers say, you can do this, you can do this, and and they end up not finding a job, right? Because they think it's easy when it's not. So that's one big thing. Number two, number two is bad advice. So we live in the world of the internet, and you're probably watching me from the internet, my apologies, but there's a lot of bad advice. Um, and what do, I mean, what do I mean by that? So here's the thing. When you go to the internet, there's a lot of eco chamber echo chambers and a lot of people saying a lot of different things so you may have some people say get certifications while other people say don't get certifications some people say go to college some some people say don't go to college like you'll find the opposite advice for every single thing that you do so it actually is worse you know getting advice from the internet in my opinion right it's because everyone has a, everyone had a different way of getting to their goal right some people did it without certs, some, some people don't some people did it with a degree. Some people didn't. Some people spent 20 years working at help desk and then finally on a job and they got it. So it really just depends on where you get your advice from. Um, so what do we mean by bad advice? So bad advice is people basically telling you one thing. You follow that advice. It happens to be not. And what is bad advice? Bad advice is you following something and it doesn't work or it takes you longer than expected, right? So if you guys wanted to get in tech, I'm, I'm assuming you guys want to get into this field quite quickly. This is not a field where you want to spend seven years, eight years learning, then filing breaking in, right? So that's what bad advice is, is, is when people tell you you have to work at help desk for 20 years, um, get 17 certifications and four college degrees before you can get into any position, right? So that's like, that's what I would call bad advice, right? Or someone telling you, hey, you can get into tech in 30 days, just get uh, the trifecta comp TS, right? So the issue with that is, you got to learn how to decipher what's right and what's wrong, which can take time. Um, and that's why um, later in the list, I'm going to bring up why you need guidance and why you need someone who can show you exactly what they did. Because everyone had a different way of getting there. Um, but the best way is to follow someone who's done it before and only follow one person. Only follow one person's advice. When you follow everyone else's advice and you listen to you know, 17 different YouTube videos, eight TikToks and nine and eight Instagram reels in, in the past hour talking about which field in tech to get into, you're going to go nowhere. You're, you're absolutely going to go nowhere because I, I was in this exact position. That's why I'm speaking it. I was in the exact same position where I, I was decided between network engineering, software engineering, data, cloud, cyber. I couldn't decide which field in tech to get into. I genuinely was stuck, right? And I was watching YouTube videos, Instagram reels, 
Um, I don't really use TikTok, um, but I was just deciding which field to, to get into. And I stumbled upon networking because my uncle was a network engineer and I just followed what he told me to do. So that is the easiest way to get into any field is following one specific person and following every single thing they tell you to do. But obviously you got to do your due diligence to make sure that person has done it before um, and, and, they're, and they've actually helped people or you just know that they can follow them. So that's the most important thing. Number three is procrastination. So what do I mean by procrastination? It's by saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it later. Or, I'll do this. You got to move quick. Tech is a booming industry right? Lots of things are changing, right? Especially with AI, you got to be moving quick. You got to be moving quick. The faster you move, the faster you can get to a job. So what does that mean? If you can get a certification in one month, why not get it in two weeks? What's stop? What exactly is stopping? You have to ask yourself that question. Um, and that really comes from the, do you really want it part? So stop procrastinating, go back to getting whatever you whatever you decided on doing and just, just do it, right? you're probably watching, you're probably going to skip this video and go to another video, right? So ask yourself, what did I do today? What did I do yesterday? What did I do the day before yesterday to getting to my goal? Or do I even have a goal? You want to ask yourself those kind of questions. Those are critical for you to be able to get to your goal of landing a job in tech. So what does that mean? Stop procrastinating. I know it takes time. I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. I know it's struggling, especially when you are, you've been struggling for a while. Keep going. Please keep going. Because after a certain time, it's going to work, right? So please stop procrastinating. It's not that difficult. Um, I know it's hard. And, and what does procrastinating mean? Um, and it, it could just be asking questions. You keep asking, oh, like, should I, should I learn this? Should I learn this? Like, most people know what to do. You know exactly what to do. Apply for jobs, get the skill, network with people, improve your social skills, um, and apply for jobs and make yourself more marketable. It's very simple. But it's it's the questioning whether I should do this or that. Whether should I do this? It's it's all in your head. Action will lay out the world the the road for you. Okay. Number four is not improving your soft skills. So as we know, we work in tech. We're improving our technical skills, right? We're we're typing on a keyboard. We're learning BGP, OSPF, TCP, IP, OSI model, uh, spanning tree, router on a stick, all that cool stuff, right? It's, it's all fascinating. It's all amazing, right? But let's not forget about your your social skills right? Your, your soft skills. Because at the end of the day, if we really think about it, at the end of the day, what is, what is, what do we do as a tech professional? We are communicating with other people, right? Even as a network engineer, we're facilitating communication and you have to talk with other engineers. You're not just sitting behind a desk, not talking to anyone. And if you think you want to get into tech because you want to sit behind a desk and never communicate, that's a complete lie. That's some, um, Hollywood BS, where you can just like be a coder, hoodie on, and not talk to anyone. I know some of you guys don't want to talk to anyone. Even I, you know, even myself, I I thought that that's how it was. But as an engineer, you you are in meetings, you are are presenting, you are sending emails, you are communicating via Slack or WebEx or whatever. This stuff matters, okay? This stuff really matters. So don't skip. And, and the interview as well. The interview is you speaking to someone, convincing them to hire you. If you can't convince them to hire you, even if you have the technical skills, you're not going to get hired. So that soft skills is the most important thing. Number five, which is my favorite one, which I notice a lot, especially in the comments, is pessimistic mentality. So a lot of people, they say, oh, woe is me, the tech market's dead, AI's taking over, what's the point of getting to tech, it sucks, uh, whatever, whatever, right? So if you have this pessimistic mentality, um, I truly believe that the tech market isn't for you because if you have this mentality, then it's not going to work out for you, right? You have to have an optimistic mindset. I used to have a pessimistic mindset as well. But, you know, you go on Reddit, people say, I can't find a job. I can't do this. I can't do this. I need help, blah, blah, blah. A pessimistic mindset will not get you anywhere. I'm going to say that again. A pessimistic mindset will not get you anywhere in tech. So you're you're better off learning the skill, putting in the work, showing up every day, and, and moving forward, right? Don't If you say, all oh, the job market sucks, or this sucks, get, people had it worse. People had it worse than you, okay? So please don't have this pessimistic mindset. It's not It's not going to do you any, any benefit at all, in my opinion. So please don't do that. Number six, no mentors, no guidance. So um, at, going back to my old, I think it was two with bad advice, 
having a mentor is mission critical. When I got into tech, I had my uncle as a mentor. He showed me everything I needed to do to get into tech. If it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for his support, if he didn't show me exactly everything I needed to do, I would not be in this field. I would not be in network engineering, right? So it's that's a very critical thing is having someone who you can look to and aspire to and have someone just be there for you in times when you're difficult because you're going to overthink things, right? You overthink, oh, should I do this? Should I do this? I, I don't know. Um, but when you have someone who says, hey, just do this and follow exactly what they say, you're good, right? So um, that's that's pretty much the list, guys. And You know, I don't really like lists, but I kind of like doing this because I am I like to just uh, sometimes, because as you know, my videos are all un unscripted uh, and I'm now I just have this list here. So I'm kind of going by like a little script, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. These are the top six mistakes a lot of uh, people make when trying to break an attack. Please don't make them. I've made them before. Um, and the mistakes, the reason they're mistakes is because it wastes time. It's going to waste you seven, six, eight, nine, ten years. Who knows? You can move fast within tech. You can move to a better career. But are you going to put in the work? And are you not going to fall for these mistakes? That's the question. With that being said, everyone, I really do appreciate your time. If you guys would like mentorship um, from me, please uh, click the link down below. And I can show you um, if you're if you're right fit for me, if I can help you or not uh, in terms of landing a job in tech. Feel free to click that link below. Also, guys, um, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, click the subscribe button for more content. And then uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, or if you enjoy this sort of video format, please let me know as well. And we can kind of go from there. So thank you guys so much for your time. And hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night or evening or whatever. And peace.